Hello, Gort here. Um, we are going to be grafting Cortland onto a wild crab apple. What you want to do is go ahead and get rid of all these little fruiting spurs and growth from the previous year. And then go about an inch from this one. This will be your nursing branch. Go about an inch, inch and a half, and cut it nicely. And then since this has been dormant, this is Cortland, by the way. It's been in the refrigerator. We're going to cut about uh, seven centimeters off. Centimeters, that's like a half inch, people. Metric. It works out great. Okay, and then we're going to do a cleft graft here. It's going to be a simple little slice on that side and slice on that side. It should look something like that. Very simple. We'll go over here and we'll just slice it in there right out there and then we'll put this guy in there uh, we'll put this in there trying to do it with no fingers okay Ugh. right there now what you're going to want to do is either hit one side over here or the other side, the green of the scion to the green of the base root stock. Wrap that up and then you're going to seal it with a whack. So what we're going to do is going to put it around. But one guy already told me uh, good content. And I want to say thank you to whoever you were in the comments on one of my previous videos. Thank you. Um, I know these videos are long, but there's a lot of detail that goes into such a video. And you see, this is why I said do an inch above, because it's much easier to wrap. If you don't, you get all cluttered like those three. Again, this is Cortland. Those three are uh, Golden Delicious. Very good variety of apple, and we are in April, by the way, in northern New York. That's a very thing, because this month is grafting month, man. <laughs> it's like awesome. Okay, and then we're just gonna simply do a half hitch. Now try. So a half hitch is when you just do a loop, and you just, you kind of, I always think of people getting married, you know. We got hitched yesterday. Yeah, so you want that hitch to last a long time. Like so. That's basically it. So we're gonna wax it. This is the final step into grafting. This is probably the messiest part. Whether you use a compound or sealant or, as I do, natural beeswax, um, which is very playable. Make sure your hands are clean. Um, normally, you would um, wax the top, but since this is a central bud, meaning that it's already concealed and it's a top bud, we're just gonna wax the uh, wound. So we're gonna kind of stretch it out like this. This stuff is very sticky. I mean, it's so sticky, soap won't get it off. Take that down, dish soap. Okay, so normally this, wow, that was fast, okay. So we're gonna seal it up here. Here we go. I'm gonna try to let you see all this happen, you know? Don't wanna. And you, see, you notice how I went up with it, went up, and now I'm going to go down with it. This is to seal it in, to make sure nothing bad gets in there. And don't worry, buds and stuff can uh, poke through this eventually, because it's all natural, not, not toxic. I've chewed on this stuff. Yes, I make sure it's good for my trees before I put it on my trees. Don't really worry, baby. Okay. okay, there we go. Uh, that's probably a little too much, but uh, a little bit less of a layer 
and that's basically how I do it. I, I may end up putting a little bit on the top just because it's, I don't want it to dry out and this is a Cortland. Let's be honest, Cortlands are always good. And so are gran uh, Golden Delicious. I don't have Granny Smith yet, but I'm working on Granny's. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, Gort out.